Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today we're going to be making a moon and sun design. It could also be like the eclipse and we many of us have just experienced that solar eclipse that we have seen last week. So that's what's inspiring this art project. Now you can make it a full sun, a full moon, however you want to do it. You can put the moon behind the sun. Uh, there's lots of different ways of doing this. I'm going to teach you how to do it with the side view moon and then we have um, the sun here but you can also do the full sun face like this and then we'll be adding some other lines to the background here and I want it to be your design so I don't want you to copy me exactly on the details but the, the main structure of the moon and sun I'm going to show you and we'll do it together, but then you can invent your own. Here's another example where the moon just continues to radiate out like this, and so does the sun getting larger and larger. And this is the full sun face and the half moon. I really like that design. Um, here it is with simple lines coming out, just simple rays, and then simple sh shapes here, almost abstract. So however you want to make your moon or your, or your sun's rays, you can. This can be curvy, okay? We talked about lines last week, and we were talking about wavy lines, zigzags lines, curvy lines. I per personally like those curly, curly Q lines. You could even do curly Q in here. Uh, so you can use your favorite types of lines if you like. Um, we talked about Piet Modrian and how he liked just straight lines. So here's some straight rays coming out. So it's up to you how you want to do your rays and your designs. And then of course you can design your moon side the way you want as well. So I want you to be thinking about this as we do our sketch together. This is a very simplified face here. It's not very realistic. And this is the front view eye here of the moon. So it's up to you how you want to do this. Like I said, I'm gonna show you how to do one similar to this, okay? But you can change, you're gonna be changing all of this to make it yours. All right, the first thing we did was we're gonna be taking the plastic circle or some kind of a circle template and just tracing around it in the center of our page. You wanna make sure that it's equal on both sides and top and bottom as well. So centered in your page. And I just quickly draw around this. Now my students are drawing to get today with me and they're fourth graders and I'll pull some examples out at the end of class um, and show you what they look like. Um, so you can do it with pencil or you can go straight to marker, that's up to you. Now we're gonna find, what I want you to do now is everybody with me, I want you to find the center of your circle. And we're gonna jump over so if this is my center of the circle, okay, I'll put a really tiny dot there and I don't want you to, you don't have to, but that's the center. I'm gonna slide my finger over almost halfway. So look, that's one quarter of the circle. I'm gonna put a tiny horizontal line right there and I want you to do so. So right now this would be half and then I find it half again, which is one fourth or one quarter. So I'm putting a little line there. Now I'm gonna do a curve around and I'm gonna diagonal line up. And we were just talking about lines, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. And we're gonna be using those lines today. Now I'm gonna do a curve and now picture, watch what I'm gonna do first. This is gonna curve in and then it's gonna taper. Tapering is something that gets slowly thinner and skinnier. So I'm gonna taper it to a nice point of a moon. Let me show you here. So I'm gonna be curving this in to form the curve of the moon and see how it's tapering and getting slowly skinnier as it meets that circle. Here's the original circle right here. So the taper line is curving gently until it's a nice point. So let's do that together. Watch how I do it. I curve and I'm slowly tapering till I meet the circle. And that forms the point of that crescent moon. Underneath, 
I'm gonna make now a letter C right here and blend it right into the straight line of the nose. So this is the letter C and that's gonna form kind of like the nostril of the nose of the moon. Now I'm gonna find, here's the horizontal line of my nose. I'm gonna go in the very center and put a very small number one. Now I'm gonna do a sideways letter V. I'm gonna go diagonally down and diagonally down. Kind of a zigzag. It's sideways V. And now I'm gonna do a diagonal, diagonal down. That's forming like the lips of the, of the moon. A short diagonal line down. Now I'm gonna do the same curve. From here, you see this profile? I'm gonna be curving it again so it tapers. So I'm curving, watch me first. I'm curving in and then I curve around so it tapers gets slowly skinnier and then it reaches a point. And that's the crescent of the moon. Now it's up to you how you want to do the, the eye of the moon. It can be profile or side view, or it can be a front view. Where's my front view? Right here. So you have different looks. This is kind of a dual picture. It's the same face but yet moon and sun. See the difference in this one? So if you want to do one that's like this, same face, moon and sun together, or this design is actually separate. I'm having a second set of eyes for the sun itself. I'm going to show you how to make a, I'm just going to do this uh, side view profile, diagonal down, diagonal over, it has a slight curve to it. And then I'm doing a C curve here. It's curved like you would draw the letter C. And the same for the pupil here. Curve like I would draw the letter C. Now this would be the pupil of the moon. And this is actually where the sight comes out, your eye sight. And this would form the color here. So this would be a color that you could color in. And then, of course, this corner triangle is the white of the eye. That's what we just drew. Now, on your own, you can decorate eyelids, eyelashes, all kinds of things later. Put in a cheek. I kind of like to do the cheeks here, but you don't have to do the cheek. That's up to you. Now, I'm going to move on and show you. Now, you can draw your own face if you want to in your own design, but I'm going to show you how to do this simplified abstract version here. I'm gonna find the nose and the edge of my sun here, and I'm gonna find the center. I'm gonna line it up, and I'm gonna put a dot from the nose edge to this edge, the center of that. And at this dot, I'm gonna do a diagonal up and a diagonal up. This is gonna be a front view um, nose for the sun. And then I'm gonna go up straight, as straight as you can, this is a slight crooked. Now, if we make little mistakes like this, if you look, mine is slightly off, that's no big deal. Let me bring it in a little bit more for you. There. And now I'm gonna V and V. This is just to break up these shapes here. You don't have to do this shape, that's up to you. Now on each side, let's get the other nostrils in. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go above this line and I'm gonna draw the letter C. I'm rounding it and connecting. And a backwards letter C on this side. That's just the nostril of the sun. This is almost like a, a realistic person nose. If you wanna make it more abstract or simple, you can, or some kids just did triangles right here. That's up to you. Now on each side, I'm gonna do a circle and a circle. These are the pupils of the sun. And then I'm gonna do a straight line, horizontal at the bottom. 
And then I'm gonna do a straight line horizontal at the top, but look, I've skipped a little space. Skipped a little space. And then I'm gonna curve it down and curve it down. Curve down, curve down. And at the bottom, I'm connecting any lines together. And now I'm gonna add just the color of the eye here. Curves, curves. So this becomes the pupil. You can make it a little bit bigger too and higher if you want to. This is the pupil of the eyeball. I'm making mine rounder here and equal. And then of course the iris, which is the color of the eye. And these little corners are the whites of the eyes. Now you can on your own add your own eyebrows, eyelashes, however you wanna do it. Here's eyelashes, plain eyebrows here. I went and did some abstracts here. So it's up to you however you're gonna decorate that after. But let's go ahead and do the, um, the lips here. I'm doing a straight line down. I'm doing it diagonal, diagonal. And these are shorter. These aren't gonna be as long as the straight line down because I'm gonna go diagonal up, diagonal up. And I'm doing a horizontal line underneath. And the horizontal line is gonna be wider than this. And then diagonal down, diagonal down. And then another horizontal line underneath here, but this is going to be closer. And it's going to be, this is the bottom lip, shorter than these edges, because this is gonna curve up and curve up. And then of course the center here, you can curve these up as well. You can add shape and design in here. I kind of like to do just a chin shape here. If you wanna add cheeks, you can add the cheeks. You do not have to. My second cheek is gonna go behind the nose here, but that's up to you if you wanna add this. You can even make a pattern in here, like the rays of the sun coming out. That's up to you how you break up these shapes. I wouldn't keep, I wouldn't do them really, really, really small though, these designs, cause you wanna be able to color them in or paint them in. Now, however you decorate half moon, half sun is up to you. You can have your halfway point. If you wanna just kind of make a line, you can be wavy straight, that's up to you. You can start your background designs now and you can design this on your own, however you wanna do your backgrounds. It can be the spikes like this, your moon can be like this. I, on this one, I'm leaving a plain moon background it's gonna be all dark sky with yellow stars. I haven't finished putting all the stars in yet. This moon has giant wavy lines coming out. And these will be all the warm, I mean the cool colors. And then this side will be warm. So however you wanna design now your moon side and your sun side. But what I want you to do is to do big chunky. If you notice, it's almost the size of my fingers. Look at that. If you put in hundreds of little tiny skinny lines in here, these all have to be painted in then. So it's better, I'll show you how I'm gonna design this. I'm just gonna do some, oh actually, I wanna do just some wavy lines coming around my moon, but then I told you, I mentioned that I love curly cues. So I'm gonna put in some of that really cool spiral. So this sun will now have these gorgeous spirals coming out of it. And so I'm going, making an almost circular shape. And then as I draw in, I get, I taper it and get slower and thinner and curvy. And then I'm just coming back around to make my spiral. So I'm doing some of these really cool spirals that I love. And then I'll put in just maybe one more in here. But you notice how I'm not doing really small spirals because they need to be painted and designed. So I am making them pretty big and chunky because it's easier for us to paint in. So this will be the sun side 
and then I can just continue my spiral lines just to break up any line that's too big here with some curves. So this will be the warm side of this of the eclipse and this will be the cool side. And for my cool side, I really liked the way this radiated out and came out. So I am going to continue with this type of design, slowly getting wider and coming tapering back in. So the moon will be on this side. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to give you some time right now to finish your design and then I'm going to pull some of them and show YouTube, uh, the YouTube fans, what my class did today. And uh, so go ahead, finish up your design, and then um, I'll show YouTube what you've done. Here are the student examples that just finished this uh, project with me. Um, and then we're going to add color as well to this, uh, but I wanted to show you what they came up with. Nice, I, li I like the nice flames here, good job. This was interesting, the, the way they did the uh, stars, so be imaginative. This was cool here, the way they did the triangles. And then I like the eyes here. So get creative. Uh, this was interesting here. This kind of looks like a um, like a comet. So on the moon side, you could even do some comet shooting but through the sky, the night sky. That was cool. And then of course we got a lot of spirals on this one as well. And what I liked about this one is we have a lot of big spaces. And they, they did the rays just like the whole sun coming out. But then on this side, well, they have it on both sides, I guess, the stars. Combination of both. So use your imagination and be creative and have fun with this. Let me know in the comments how yours came out.